what's going on you guys welcome back to part two of team mom two season nine reunion recap so the show continued off from last week from when nessa got janelle's mind right so dr drew chased janelle behind stage they sat down he talked her into coming back to the couch when she comes back to the couch she's still in tears she explains that her PR is responsible for posting certain articles and different things online for her. It's not her who's posting those exact words online. So Nessa was like, well, that doesn't excuse it because you're the one who have to approve of it. And I have no other choice but to hold you accountable for the things that I read about my man. And so Janelle, she's still crying and everything. So they're pretty clear on everything, but Janelle, she's still kind of like, you know, like, well, like I say, I, I didn't have nothing to do with that. And everybody's just blaming me just being Janelle. So Barbara joins Janelle to the stage. And Barbara, she wants to, like, get off the subject. So she said, let's talk about your season. I had fun. And in the audience, they fell out laughing because, you know, Barbara, she just got that silliness with her. She just say things that you just don't be expecting to hear. <laughs> and so that's what makes it so funny. So, Janelle claims, well, yeah, I get along now with my mom because she gets along with David. So, I'm like, if your mom wasn't getting along with the man who she knew was mistreating you, then you wouldn't want to have anything to do with your mom. Like, that's sad that you will actually sit up here on stage on national television and admit to being that way. Like, that's, that's, it's just pitiful. But that's Janelle. So, Dr. Drew asked Barbara what happened on Instagram Live. And we've all heard the story before with Janelle and Barbara getting drunk when they went on their little getaway. And then Barbara mentions, let's get lit and go kill, kill. So we all heard all that before. So she was just like, it was all taken out of proportion. I didn't mean it. Literally, I was drunk. We were just laughing and having fun. I don't want to kill, kill. So can we please move on from that? And then she says, but so many people been ganging up on Janelle so I could understand why she's so upset about this because even Chelsea's dad, Randy, got online and post some stuff about Janelle in a negative way. And I'm like, why is everybody coming behind Janelle? So Dr. Drew asked Janelle, why don't she ever chastise David for his wrongdoing? And she's like, because I love him and because he's a great dad. And he was saying, but you never mentioned anything about him and what he does wrong. And she's saying, well, what do you want me to get out here and talk bad about him? I'm not going to do that on national television. So I'm like, but you do admit, you can't admit to the fact that, you know, he got some messed up ways and stuff like that. And then Dr. Drew was like, because this season he's made it difficult for you to shoot. He's constantly threatened production that he's going to interrupt the filming so that you won't get your camera time so he was like we've been hearing you say over and over again i'm done i'm done so are you really done are you done with team mom too and she was like i don't really know and i'm like yeah now she's bluffing i'll believe it when i see that she's not on the show for the next upcoming seasons and i'm not just talking about taking one season off because I've been hearing about her being fired and it's official and all that. But I don't believe it. I'm believing that maybe they're just going to give her a little break. And she'll probably be back for what, season 11 or whatever. I don't know. I just don't believe that Janelle is gone for good. I mean, what do what do she have lined up, you know, that'll take the place of Team Mom 2 money? And who's going to put up with, with Team Mom 2 been put up with her? I mean, MTV been putting up with this girl for a long time. I don't think she's going to find that kind of money anywhere else. But anyway, we'll see when the season returns. So next to the stage is Javi and Kel. And Kel admits to purposely getting pregnant for Javi, I guess, to keep him or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Kel claims that they started to talk about Lauren, um, Javi's wife, Lauren. And... Well, I think they are married. I think he married Lauren. And anyway, Kel claims that Lauren doesn't respect her. 
And that's been the reason why things have been the way it's been between the three of them for all this time and stuff like that. And so um, I'm like, well, I can kind of understand that Lauren feels a way about Kale at times, given the fact that Kale and Javi hooked up twice, even when Javi had just gotten to a relationship with um, Lauren. So it's like, you're a woman just like she is. So you should understand you know, where, where Lauren is coming from when it's just not easy to get along with you. And she even mentioned that during this season. And I could believe that. I mean, we see what it is with Kale. So nobody has a reason to say anything opposite of, you know, we all know how it is. And Kale is someone who's probably difficult to get along with. I mean, it probably all depends on, you know, her moods is going to determine the way she comes at a person. But I'm willing to bet that Kale is the one that makes it difficult for Lauren to get along with her. So next to the stage, V joins Kale on the couch. And they look back at previous seasons and the ups and downs of her position. V, I'm talking about the position that she played in Javi's life. I'm sorry, in Joe's life. Oh, Lord, all these people, I'm getting all confused. Up to the day that V insisted that Joe and Kel sit down and come to a mutual decision on the child support. So from the looks of it, they have like a really good special bond now, the two of them. And Kel said that she even attended V and Joe's wedding and she cried. She even cried the whole while while they were on the couch talking. They hugged, laughed, and talked. And um, Nessa was just saying, I just love y'all's relationship. And Kel said, the reason why I'm breaking down like this, I'm so emotional, is because, I mean, I couldn't pick a better stepmother for Isaac. And so they wrapped up this segment with them. Up next to the stage was Devon and Brianna to the couch. So they asked Devon, what do he want to be called? And he said he want to be called Devion. <laughs> D-E-V-I-O-N. I'm like, okay, Devion. So they asked Devion about what happened with the drinks and Nova and you just like having way, way too much. And so Devon, it just looked like his body language was a bit off. I'm sitting up here watching him and it's like he couldn't contain himself. He kept moving around. And I know I've seen him, you know, this way before, but not this much. It's like he was just extra nervous or extra just anxious to just get up and just go. Like he really wasn't for the sit down this time. We have been seeing Devon in a more happier place. But tonight on the reunion, it was just a different Devon. I guess because he know what he was about to face in the hot seat. Knowing that he was about to be asked questions about being drunk. And they're going to talk about that more than everything else that happened this season. I mean, they showed the photo shoot, the, the family portraits and everything. But we know they're going to keep bringing it back to anything that's going to make him look bad. And I said that on my previous recaps this season. They're going to keep making Devon look bad. I hate the way they, they sit around and discuss him. It just irks me. I don't like that. You know, so um, they asked him about having too many drinks and leaving Nova unattended and stuff like that. He just doesn't feel like it was a big deal. He even texted Brianna and told her that. And Dr. Drew was like, because everyone was a, is a, you got a lot of fans now. And Brianna was like, yeah, Devon has a lot of fans now, but I'm not a fan of Devon's. I mean, I, I even told him when he texted me and said it's not a big deal. And he said, first of all, I didn't say it's not a big deal. I say it's not the end of the world. So he got frustrated and was like, look, is this all y'all want to ask me? Because I, I could go. I could go. Like, we in New York, you know, like he's saying, I, I want to hit the streets of New York and, you know, go see what's out there. I don't have time to be sitting here and be giving the, the third degree on something that's in the past. I kind of understand what he's saying at the same time. He should have just came clean, answered it, and got his little segment out of the way. But like I say, he was just in a different light tonight on a reunion. Like he just couldn't contain himself. I don't know. Something was up with Devon. But again, it makes it hard for you to just be on his side 
just when you think that he's doing good, he screws up again. And you be like, damn it, man, I was rooting for you. And not to judge him because nobody's perfect. But I'm just saying at some point, when does he grow up for good? So last to the couch. Sorry for the interruption. I'm reading from my notes on my other phone. So last to the couch is um dang my notes are messed up last of the couch is chelsea and she's been asked about adam seeing aubrey more and she said that he had started seeing her more he had even started going to eat lunch at her school and then he stopped so she was like, so I don't know what to do now. Like, do I stop the visitation at school for him to go and see her and eat lunch with her at school? I don't know what to do. And I'm saying to myself, you just can't change him. He's going to change when he's ready to change. And then they ask her questions about, um, like, her depression and stuff like that. And she said... The thing about the panic attacks, what led on to the panic attacks was the moving, then the pregnancy, having a baby, and then the break-in. And I say, I figured that. I figured that. I figured it when she had started getting the panic attacks. And she probably didn't even have a panic attack come to think of it. She probably had a nervous breakdown because it was so much I was dealing with at one time. And I mean, pressure bust pipes. I just wasn't talking about it. I was holding it in. And at that point where I had that nervous breakdown, that one bad thing that just had happened, it's like that was I was at my wit's end. So it just seems like she probably had a nervous breakdown. But um, she goes on to talk about Adam and then Randy joins her on the couch and he says that he even gives Adam the benefit of the doubt. And that he, he really roots for Adam. He want him to get better. Even though it don't seem like it, he do. He wants Adam to have that good relationship with Aubrey. He wants him to be a better man and be a better father. Because Aubrey deserves it. And she loves her daddy. He just needs to be there more. Um, He says that he's glad that Cole is not rushing into the adoption thing. Just give it a little bit more time. We have time for that. And I like Randy. They even ask him about... Janelle and he said he liked Janelle she's done good she's come a long way and he said it's just like she just don't know which way is up and once she get her life together and really figure out the direction that she want to take you know on a better road she'll she'll do good she'll do good so you know like I said I like Randy he always has the perfect things to say I mean he always has the right thing to say to you in any situation. Like, he's a really good father to Chelsea. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That concludes tonight's episode of Team Mom 2 Reunion Part 2. Stay tuned for next week's finale reunion. And I'll be back with Part 3 for next week. So if y'all like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. As always, I want to thank y'all for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.